Good morning everyone, welcome back. Happy Monday. The start of the week. How are we all? Wow, Blake is cooking me up a feast. What we got? Wow, look at all of that in there. That is brilliant. A fish, yeah. Wow. And she's been making me all of this. Wow. Love it. What's this? Hot sauce. Hot sauce. No. A hot chilli pepper. Pepper. Yeah. Well, I think your baskets fell all over the floor, look, with everything in it. What are you doing, you silly sausage? Look at your grapes. You got grapes? Wow. Look at that. We've got my videos on in the background. I can't believe I ever had my hair that colour. It's awful. I don't know why I did it. She wanted to watch your birthday vlog. What's burning? It's burning. Oh no, it's burning. Quick, come on. The grapes are burning. Why are they in the oven? <laughs> it's just burning more. Apple avocado. Avocado. An avocado. Wow. You're so clever. We found Shaggy. We found Shaggy, didn't we, Blake? So we've got Fred and we've got Daphne and we've got Velma. Where's Velma? We've got Velma and Shaggy and Scooby. Wow. Yay, Daphne. Yay. We've also found the other Scooby Doo monsters. Let's show that one. Woo! So Corbin got a pack of Rubik's Cubes for Christmas and he got this two by two. He got a three by three and then like, I don't know if it were a five or a five, I can't remember anyway. The other two, well all of them was actually done. Like the, the comb actually made and he's already got another Rubik's Cube that, that's already muddled up. So we were like, right, we'll keep the other two like they've been done for like display purposes. And we thought, oh, we'll mix this like two by two up or whatever it is, because that can't be too difficult to actually put back together. Well, we can't put it back together. Are you trying to do it? Yeah, we can't, we can't do it. And it's only like a two by two and it's more difficult than what we thought. Blake is just watching some blippy, aren't you? She's just had some milk. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I've got some pasta on for the kids, so we're gonna have that for the dinner. We've got a little Asda shop coming between four and six, so I'll show you that. Woo, good kick. Should we go get it? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> oh no. Buy a new one. <laughs> buy a new one. It's gross, isn't it? It's because it's been outside. It's almost. Woo! So she made me go in the garage to get her red car out. Is that good? <laughs> and it's all dirty. Is it all dirty? Should we give it a clean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Mummy, <laughs> mummy, I get more chicken. Bread. Like it's absolutely filthy. Look at that in there. And this bird poo. We need to clean that. Hang on. What are you doing? I did it. Did you? Well, I've cleaned the bird poo off. It does need a good, good clean though before summer. It is just gross. Can we go inside yet? I'd love a coffee. No, I want to play the car inside. <laughs> okay. We brought the car inside. Did we bring the car inside? Wow. Lifted the rug up so she's got more room to be able to uh, go around in it. I've also decluttered the living room a little bit. Let me show you. This Kallax has gone from here. Sticking stickers on the door. That's gone upstairs in Blake's room. So we've put a little piano and a guitar there because she wanted to leave them down here. This is the cable 
So we've got a wired connection to the PlayStation because it it plays Fortnite and Warzone a lot better. And then down here did just have her little dollies in, but she's brought the haunted house and Scooby Doo stuff down today. But that would normally have that there. <laughs> and then here's a little kitchen corner with her, I mean, excuse all these wires I'm charging my MacBook, but her ice cream cart and her little kitchen is here. And then everything else has gone upstairs, hasn't it? I mean, there is toys in both of these drawers. We've got all of her Peppa Pig stuff in here. So this is all of her Peppa Pigs that she's got all there. And then here we have just the baby bits. We've got Dr. McStuffin and her little doctor kit behind there. We've got a farmyard animals and a safari animals. And then we've got, I love this bag. It's absolutely, oh, it's just so cool. And that's just got a lot of little figures in there as well, like PJ Masks and is it that and I don't know, stuff like that anyway. I want all my room. Right, well, let me drink my coffee and then we'll go up to play in your bedroom, okay? I want to play in my car first. Go on then, play in your car. And we finally made a start on her bedroom. I mean, a bedroom isn't decorated or anything like that. We've literally just kind of moved David's office out of there and put her, um, oh, we put her cot down for the first time in God knows how long. It does turn into a cot bed, but we've lost a piece or not brought a piece from the old house or put it in the skip by mistake. So we can't turn it into a cot bed, it's not safe. There's like a bottom bit that you put on to keep it obviously secure and we don't have that. So at the minute it's up as a cot, but I want to get like a Peppa Pig bed or something like that anyway. So I just have, we'll just have to get that. You do, I know, the only problem is she loves the baby bed. But it's just not safe with the cot sides up because she can climb out of it. We need to just decorate it and sort it out, but at least we've got, all right, well, we're not doing it today because I haven't got the paint. Why? <laughs> I don't know, I just haven't. So Asda's just been, so I'll give you a little haul of what we got. So we've got some bourbons, custard creams, Oreos, curly whirlies, skittles, and fruit pastels. Some chicken nuggets, we have rocket lollies, orange lollies and fruit spirals because they just love ice lollies. <laughs> Waffles, cheese and tomato pizza, southern fried chicken, some steam bagged vegetables and some chicken burgers. Oh and cash browns. I think that's all the frozen stuff. We were really low on just the convenience type stuff. So just grab some of them. I've just changed the packaging lot or the wording or the font or something it looks different on on these so we've got some cherry tomato with grapes a cucumber apples two lots of ham olives cereals my oh i just love this stuff this red berry granola malted wheat and some multi-grain hoops be free from rice cakes so good Dairyly snackers, I was going to say stackers. Tacker snack, some strawberries, smoked ham, the corn for Kira. We do have a few like fruit and vegetable bits here. We do normally get it from the market, as you know if you watch, but we just run low all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> spinach and kale, purely because I have smoothies every morning or most mornings but I'm just going to try and incorporate some green, some wholemeal bread and some white bread, cracker bread, baby whites, quavers. I can't for the life of me get just plain Walker's crisps. I've not been able to get them since before Christmas. Either just not come on the order or been subbed. So today we sent some of these instead and Blake will only eat like Walker's plain original crisps or the original plain Seabrook and even if I just give her a handful because I got some salt and shake ones which she used to eat and I was just giving her them on her plate not in the bag 
she knows. She's like, no, I'm not, I'm not having them. Or she'll say, I want them in the bag. And it's like, David's calling at the Asda on the way home, so I've asked him to try and get some, but honestly, we just, we just can't seem to get any at all. A big thing of pasta, some rices. I've got two of the whole grain, two of the golden vegetable, and two of the chicken and sweet corn. Snack jacks, these are just so good. I really like these as well. Some oat milk, some normal milk, pesto, two lots of spaghetti hoops, and some eggs. And that is it. The Asda order. David will be getting all of our meat and other fresh stuff from the market. I'm just about to film a sit down video whilst I've got myself and David some tea on. I have to unplug the freezer or I don't know if it's the freezer or the fridge but it seems to make a constant buzzing and when I film a video in the kitchen it's just so annoying. I've turned it off now. One day I'm going to forget to plug it back in. The only thing is I've got the oven on so you can know that. So that's that video filmed. It's a little bit weird that one, to be honest. I'll uh, I'll go through it, edit it, and I don't know. I've just done. It. I've basically just done a sit down video on why I started eating meat again. Well, I say why. I haven't even really got a reason. I just did so. Yeah, I just thought I'd sit down and address it in a video and because I've got obviously like videos coming up where I'll be eating meat. There's a, there is a video the other day where I had meat and I've not eaten meat for like nearly near enough a year now. So it felt a bit awkward filming it so I don't know we'll see but I'll edit it see how it is anyway I think I'm gonna end this video here as well because I'm gonna do some editing David's editing we're gonna have tea it's, it's like 20 past 8 I've not had tea yet that's it we might watch one of our shows that we've been watching thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next video bye